back to our channel. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we are continuing with the series of uh, the family altar. Yes, and, and today we are almost is our winding last. up. Yeah. Yes. Today is our last series, our last um, episode. episode. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to go right, uh, you know, straight into the gist of it. Mm -hmm. I know uh, we've had a good journey. Yeah. yeah. Uh, an awesome time yes. talking about you know the importance of the altar yeah how then, to raise the altar how to raise the altar what the what, altar feeds on uh, what to sacrifice what to sacrifice yes and now today mm -hmm. we want to talk about the benefits yes the benefits of having a family, a family altar. altar yes and um you know uh one of the benefits of having a family altar mm -hmm. there's a you know common phrase that goes like you know a family that prays together stays Stay, together yeah stays together yes so um one of the benefits of having a family altar is that you stay together. Yeah, God, God. There is that unity. Yes, there is that unity. God yeah. hates the, yeah. all of you, mm -hmm. you know. And, and behold how good and how pleasant it is for, for brothers, brothers to, to dwell together in, in harmony, in harmony mm -hmm. and in unity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know where two or three are gathered, yeah, yeah? in his name, he's yes. there in their midst. And and so, the Lord also commands a blessing. Yeah, he commands a blessing. Yes. So basically, uh, we're talking about you having, you know, the presence of God continually. Yes. Or continuously yes in your family yeah. not just in your life but in your family in your family whether it's the little one yeah or the eldest one yes there, there's always that presence of the lord yeah in that family mm -hmm. and the good thing about having the presence of the lord in the family there's light yes yeah? there is light. because because in him there's no shadow of uh, there's, there's no, no shadow. shadow of turning Basically, it means that you know we are, uh, everyone in the family is walking in an illuminated place. Exactly. They will not stumble mm -mm. because you only stumble when there is darkness mm -hmm. or or, or where, where when you're not you know careful. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and, and and basically it shows that even when you be going to the wrong direction, there is the light that is. Uh, that is telling yes. like okay that direction that you're going yeah. it is leading you to yes. a different place altogether yeah there is that direction yes. there is light yes. there is um you you know uh, uh there's a point of reference yes. at the end of the day yes mm -hmm. yeah so god god um brings the all of you together together and bonds you mm -hmm. and there's nothing as good the bible says that a, a, a cord of three cannot be broken so yeah. you can imagine mm -hmm. a cord mm -hmm. of three cannot mm -hmm. be broken what about all of you being bonded together mm -hmm. And a one, the one yeah. common bond, and yes. that's the bond of Christ. Mm -hmm. It is very, very hard for the enemy to just come into the, mm -hmm. you know, and and spoil the head. Uh -huh. So there's a lot of unity in the yeah. family mm -hmm. when a family raise, altar. Yeah, when there. you raise a family altar. Yes. Is an, another thing about uh, you know, the benefits of a family altar mm -hmm. is that um, the word of God is present in the family. Yes. Yeah. The word of God the concerning word. the mm -hmm. family mm -hmm. is present in the family. Yeah, the Lord, the yeah. Lord speaks, and yeah. He speaks mm -hmm. through. Um, the, funny enough, now the, the second mantle of a husband, apart from being a priest, mm -hmm. he's also a prophet mm -hmm. of the family. And so, being a prophet of the family, he can be able to receive and tap from the Lord whatever God is saying. I'm not saying that the Lord cannot hey, speak to wives us. Wives also they no, hear no, no. a lot. They yeah. hear a lot. I'm not saying uh -huh. that. And I'm, God speaks. Yes. Re re remember, uh, you know, uh, the birth of Jesus. Mm. Uh, God did not first of all go to Joseph. Yeah. Yeah. He went to Mary. Yeah, because wives are very yeah. sensitive. Mm. They're very sensitive mm. to the to the voice of God and yeah, yeah and mm. we don't use so much of logic and yeah, <laughs> as opposed to them yeah, men, yeah. which is the truth you remember Gideon here he, he doubted God like three times like God today. funny enough all of uh, them mm. even look at Zacharias he, mm. he just didn't receive the word of the Lord flawlessly the, yeah yeah the, there started, was a lot of logic there was a lot of look me, at Moses Moses yeah. was like hey I am a stammerer me? Why are you sending oh, me? Yeah. yeah, I must have, but I cannot. Mm. I cannot uh, talk coherently. You know? And that's one of the shortcomings <laughs> of women. Yeah, uh, we 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 are logically wired. So yeah. basically, sometimes uh, listening and really trusting that you know that is the voice of the Lord. It takes a and, lot and of. And now faith. that's where now the the wife comes in. Funny enough. And that's the why there is the marriage. Exactly, mm. the intuition that the Lord has given us and mm. the sensitivity that God has given us mm -hmm. comes way in handy. Mm -hmm. That's why a wise husband always listens to the wife. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> and you know, and you know. I wonder. You know, I wonder what could have happened uh, if uh, the first person, yeah, 
to be told uh, that Jesus is alive was a man. Oh my God. He could be like, are you sure you angel? I don't, I don't Are you sure that he's not there? Let, he would, he would have even let like me check. gone. Yes, yeah? he would have yeah? first of all gone. Are you he sure you've not, you've, not, you've not moved him yes, out of this place? Yes, now that is the thing. They yeah? have started to doubt. Yeah. They would be saying no, I think But they not chose a woman. Yeah? And she ran yeah. to just yeah. spread the gospel. The first gospel was spread by a woman. Yeah. He's alive. Yes. Yeah? So the word, the mm. word of the Lord is present mm. in a home because both of you are actually very sensitive to the yes. Lord. The man uh -huh. is sensitive to the mm. voice of the Lord mm -hmm. and the wife is also very sensitive to the voice of the Lord. The children are too. Mm -hmm. So when you come to the altar, you are be, you, you can be able to, mm -hmm. to uh, how, how do I put it? You can be able to cross reference with each other. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. how what, what do you think about ABC? Yeah. I think the Lord is leading us this way. And what do you think about this? I think the mm -hmm. Lord is leading us this mm -hmm. way. And there's awesome. nothing as good as having the word of the Lord in, in your altar because yeah. the word doesn't just come to edify, but mm -hmm. it also rebukes mm -hmm. and it corrects, corrects and teaches us, mm -hmm. you know, so that mm -hmm. the man of God can be fully equipped, fully equipped yeah, for, for the word of the Lord, yeah, yeah. for every good work of yeah. the Lord. Mm -hmm. So even your children are mm -hmm. corrected at the altar. Yeah. Sometimes you wonder what you're going to tell them, mm -hmm. but you are now comforted in knowing mm -hmm. that you're parenting with Christ. Now, now that part of parenting, yeah, mm -hmm. remember that you, you're shepherding a child's heart, yeah. yeah, and you're not doing it for your own sake. No. Yeah, you're doing it for God. Yes, you yeah. are making a disciple of Christ. Yes. yes. Uh, basically, the children that are under you, yeah. you're supposed to shepherd them for just a little bit of, you know, uh, say 20 years, 25 years. Yeah. Then after that, they Release go and... Release them. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, you're doing it on behalf of God. Yes. So if you're, if you're raising your kids on behalf of God, yes. not on your own behalf, no. yeah? No. Then the family altar comes in handy, yeah, because it has it creates the environment, mm, yeah, mm. under which you now you can thrive in the in the parenting. Yes. there's a there's a reference point mm. when 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 they when they do wrong, they not only do wrong to you, but there's a reference but also point to, to God. God. So they are also answerable exactly. to God even before they're answerable to you. Oh, yes. they are answerable. To in God. fact, the Bible says in Ephesians six one that children obey your parents mm. in the Lord. In the Lord. You so know? how can they obey uh, the parents in the Lord if they don't know the Lord? They need to know the Lord. So they first have yes. to be in the Lord. Yes. Yeah. So they have to be in the Lord so that the Lord can oh. cause them to obey. And and I don't. Okay. Oh gosh, the word of God yes. is so sufficient. Mm -hmm. Everything is in the Lord. Love, mm. you know, you, mm. a husband loving the, the wife mm. as, is, Christ, as Christ. As Christ. A love. wife submitting to the husband mm. is as unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. Children mm. obeying their parents, they obey them in the Lord. In so the Lord. everything mm. at the altar revolves around it revolves, who? Revolves around Christ. Yeah, exactly. And that's why the altar is so much important that if you don't get the, the, the basis Amen. of the altar, you don't get it all. Exactly. Because you, you lose everything. You lose, you lose everything. everything. Because yeah. even being rebuked at the altar, the way mm. we've said you're instructed, mm. being mm. rebuked at the altar, that's mm. where now the word of the Lord comes in and mm. rebukes the mm. husband mm. who does not love the wife. Yeah. Because mm. now the word of the Lord says mm. the opposite of that, mm -hmm. that you should mm -hmm. love your wife as mm -hmm. Christ loves the church. Yeah. It rebukes the wife who thinks that having clout means not submitting to their mm -hmm. husband you know mm -hmm. and it's not about clout it's mm -hmm. not about your power it's not about what you have now the word of the lord comes and tells you you know what mm -hmm. um you your the, your husband as i always say mm -hmm. is just a beneficiary of your right standing in me as christ exactly. you know Amen. so Amen. what powerful. do you do mm -hmm. you are mm -hmm. submitting to me mm -hmm. No, 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 you see, <laughs> at the end of the day, everything starts, oh, yes. you know, in him is everything. Yeah, in God is everything. And um, even before you teach your children yeah. obedience, yes, teach them the Lord. Teach them the Lord. Introduce them to the Lord. Yes. Yeah. Let them know that there is God mm. uh, who, who is there. Mm. Let them have faith in God. Let them be built in faith. Mm. Yeah. Through you, you know, you know the word of God, and what does the word of God do? It sanctifies us. Oh yes. Yeah? So this sanctification. There's sanctification yeah? at the altar. The at Lord, the altar. the altar speaks to you and tells you exactly. You know, this is this is the right way, mm -hmm. and this is the wrong way. Mm -hmm. The Amen. shepherd 
uh-huh. talks mm. the Lord Jesus Christ. He yes. talks to us. He sanctifies us through the blood that mm. He's given us there at the altar. Mm. And it is you to go at the altar and say, you know what, I'm mm. here, Lord. Mm-hmm. And then He sanctifies you and washes you and mm. talks and mm. talks and talks Amen. to you. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. So there's a lot of sanctification. Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, children are well taught uh, at the altar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They are well taught at the altar because at the end of the day, they know that there's a, a greater being. Yes. Yeah. Uh, a greater being that is flawless. Yeah? It's not like even their part. And inadvertently, you know, fall mm-hmm. short yeah, to exactly. our children. But now there's a flawless, perfect being, yeah, that we, that they are accountable mm-hmm. to at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. And that gives them, you know, a spiritual bearing and a, and a beacon, yes. yeah. Uh, I like that, a beacon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so even if they stray, they can always come back to, you know, and mm-hmm. when you saw, uh, you know, the word in that fertile ground mm-hmm. already, mm-hmm. because children are like a clean slate where yeah. now the parents are there to mold the children mm-hmm. on behalf of Christ. Mm-hmm. And now that clean slate is, I, 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 I compare it to uh, a ground that yeah. is, that is just, yeah. you yeah. know, it's, bare it's, it's bare and fertile, yeah. it's, it's unblemished, mm-hmm. there are no chemicals that have been put on it. So mm-hmm. it is you to take the seed, mm-hmm. of which is the word of the Lord, and plant it there. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. and now when it's starting to grow, definitely when the soil is also fertile, mm-hmm. weeds are also part of mm-hmm. growth yeah. in the fertile soil. Mm-hmm. True. Yes, ah. in every type of soil, especially if it's very fertile, mm-hmm. weeds are weeds, also yeah. there. Mm-hmm. But the good thing with this is mm-hmm. that there is that there is the word of the Lord that is has been sown in mm. and that and now you have you mm. who is parenting with Christ mm. to prune out mm-hmm. we tell whatever yeah. seeds that and, and, and to weed and to weed out yeah. so yeah. when you when and, you've taught them the word mm-hmm. of the Lord and you've mm. shown them that it, this is the mirror mm-hmm. and this is Christ mm-hmm. and this is what he wants us to do mm-hmm. at the end of the day mm-hmm. Christ doesn't want us to steal Christ doesn't want us to kill yeah. Christ doesn't want us to covet things mm-hmm. yeah. you can now I'm not saying sit back, but you can mm-hmm. kind of like, you know, mm-hmm. uh, uh, relax and uh-huh. know that Christ is taking over. Exactly. Yeah. In fact, the altar acts as, as a buffer, yeah, for oh, parenting. Yes. Yeah. Mm. It acts as a buffer. Yeah, it's another buffer. Yeah, for parenting. Because uh, sometimes we are overwhelmed as parents mm. because you're like, now, where do I start? Yeah. yeah. He's my teenager. He's done this. She's done that. And, you know, you can be overwhelmed. You don't know what yes. to do. But the altar is the backup. Oh yeah. yeah. The altar is the backup. I remember mm-hmm. I remember in my you know, the oh, teen days <laughs> yeah. when 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 mommy and daddy used to correct me, of course you feel bad, you know, you feel you feel like throwing tantrums and go like yeah, you uh-huh. guys you don't mm-hmm. know this, mm-hmm. you don't know that. Mm-hmm. But funny enough, funny mm-hmm. enough, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, mm-hmm. when they've corrected you and they've finished and they've you know they've They've told you, no, you cannot do this, you cannot do that, A, B, C, A, B, C, and you're all so mad and you're stomping out and you're mm-hmm. shutting down, you know, the doors. Yeah, and yeah. When now you're in the bed mm-hmm. alone, mm-hmm. there's a certain whisper. Mm-hmm. And that's the whisper of the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. It tells you, you know what, mm-hmm. it, the way you've even banged that door is mm-hmm. wrong. Mm-hmm. The way you've done A, B, C is wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the Lord is just here whispering to you. Mm-hmm. But you see, where does that whisper come from? If it was mm-hmm. not for mommy and daddy implanting that seed in me, yeah, and telling me about Christ mm-hmm. and the power of the Holy Spirit and the way He convicts us of yeah. sin and of righteousness sin. Uh-huh. and judgment mm-hmm. to come, mm-hmm. I don't think I'd be convicted. Yeah, I don't think so. And, and maybe I'll not be having you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. So oh, yeah. thanks to the you know to the godly parenting. Uh, that was done uh, oh, so yeah. many thanks. years back. Thanks, mm. mommy. Thanks, mm. daddy. You are just the best. Yeah, and right. and we pray that. We love you. Yeah, we love you. We love you. And and we pray that every parent out there. Yeah. Yeah, will uh-huh. will know mm. the importance mm. of a yeah. family altar. And there's nothing good as um, you know after you've done all the parenting, the godly parenting, the shepherding of you know of, of your children, yes. and then when they have all they are all grown up, yeah, you present them back to God and then oh, they return yes. God. Now, God, I've Here done my part. In your arms, I give them to you. Yeah, there's nothing as beautiful. I think as there's that. nothing as mm. beautiful as like that. Yeah, but but it comes with work. Wow, yeah? Yeah? there's a lot of work. Yeah, it comes with a lot there's of work. There's a lot of work. And and, and 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 there's no downtime in it. Parenting is mm. very intentional. Parenting mm. should be very very active. 
-hmm. every day every day especially also on the family altar yeah. as much as there's the, there's also the other side of parenting uh -huh, and uh -huh. so many and mm -hmm. and I trust that the Lord will give us time to talk about parenting, yeah, parenting in, yeah. in the next coming series mm -hmm. says you know mm -hmm. many yeah. mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. These, these, it doesn't have a downtime. Mm -mm. It doesn't, and mm -mm. it's very, very intentional. Mm -hmm. You need to say, "This is how it's gonna be, mm -hmm. and this is how it is." And I get so many people saying that, "Yeah, you may teach them about the Lord, but at the end of the day, they mm -hmm. will, they will go astray." That one, you leave it to the Lord. Mm -hmm. That one, just you do leave part. it. Do your part diligently. Diligently. Do your part. Do yeah. your part. Yeah, and, <laughs> and don't get tired. No, don't get no, tired. no. Yeah. Mm -mm. Repeat, repeat, repeat that lesson today. Repeat tomorrow, the lesson today. The day after tomorrow. tomorrow you know. Yeah. Always, or because sometimes they forget. Yeah. Yes, they do. And sometimes they just want to test the waters and and see how how deep it is. Yeah, because yeah? It, it, because mm -hmm. in a in a child's heart there is. There's foolishness. foolishness. Yes, there's foolishness. Yeah, so yeah. They, that foolishness needs to be yeah. kicked out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with a rod, with a pinch, mm -hmm. anything. Yeah, with Talking, prayers. Talking, with yeah. prayers. Yeah. Mm -hmm, but a family mm -hmm. altar acts as the mm -hmm. foundational, foundational ground. Yeah. Yes. That they are grounded it, it, on. In fact, it is in that altar that biblical uh, truths are uh are sold. Yes, and they yeah? are spoken. And, and, and they are spoken. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I could not have known about praying and fasting if it was not a, if it was not uh, you, you know the fact that mom you know took time and you know taught me how to pray you know how yes. to fast and all that yeah praying and fast giving to God giving to the and, people <laughs> and all that yeah. and funny enough mm -hmm. by then it might look very it, it it looks sometimes very odd and shallow mm -hmm. I remember mm -hmm. being taught how to fast by mom mm -hmm. and there are some days that she was like yeah today we are fasting and you're not eating lunch and yeah. i'm thinking what do you mean we're not mm -hmm. eating lunch yeah. and yeah we will skip lunch mm -hmm. but i have not really fully comprehended yeah. it, what it yeah. is mm -hmm. but as i grew mm -hmm. and got to know wow mm -hmm. by the way because because sometimes they might not comprehend it at yeah. some age yeah exactly but you speak it anyway Mm -hmm. You do it mm -hmm. anyway. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. tell them anyway. Yeah, yeah. Even even little kids, you can tell them. Okay, now we are fasting. Um, uh, tea. We are going to take uh, half a cup. Yeah. Not full because we are praying. Mm -hmm. Because one thing with fasting, fasting teaches us discipline. It will teach you discipline and self control. Yeah. Yeah. If you can because control your appetite. Yes. If you can control your appetite. <laughs> yeah. For food. Yeah? Yes. You can control any other appetite. Yes. Yeah? And fasting is one of the best ways of disciplining the body. Yes. Or learning discipline. Yes, learning yeah? discipline. And and, and and of course when you're praying and you're fasting, mm. yeah, you move mountains. You mm, move mountains when mm, you do that. Mm. So basically the family altar is it's it's a wholesome thing, yeah? It's in fact, I don't think we have really. We have just no, no, cut no. the surface. We've, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. if you, if you want more, there will be more at the blog because mm -hmm. writing mm -hmm. sort of like makes you just yeah. speak out and yeah, and spit lot. out and, yeah. and write mm -hmm. everything out. Mm -hmm. We've not even scratched the yeah. surface. Mm -hmm. Not yet. We are not yet there. No. Yeah. So um, uh, make sure that you visit our blog. Yes. That is www dot our marriage chronicles dot com dot com mm -hmm. and our individual you know uh, accounts on facebook and twitter and ig mm -hmm. and may the lord bless you so much and may the lord bless thank you, you for following us yeah, this series yeah yeah, yeah and uh, it's been an awesome 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 time mm -hmm. we hope that you've been a blessing to you yes so make sure that you subscribe and you tell your friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe yes let us yeah. spread the gospel mm -hmm. of christ and to the and nations. to the nations in Jesus name. In Jesus name. So see you later. See you next time. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Amen.